students, my name is Iris Franz, which I live room. Today we're going to talk about elasticity and the marginal revenue. So we know the revenue is price times quantity, and now I'm going to change the price from P to P plus delta P. And we know that because I'm a monopoly, and therefore the corresponding quantity is going to go down. So in the previous video, we mentioned that your new revenue is equal to price times quantity plus P times delta Q plus delta P times Q. Remember we mentioned that delta P times delta Q is too small, so we can just neglect that. And that's not going to change the answer. Therefore, this is our new revenue. New revenue minus the old revenue will be your change in revenue. And that is equal to price times delta Q plus delta P times Q. So that is the change in revenue. Now, what is the marginal revenue? We know by definition, marginal revenue is change in revenue divided by change in quantity. So I'm just going to divide this term by the change in quantity. And I'm left with price plus delta P divided by delta Q times your quantity. And notice that we know when I'm a monopoly, your price is a function of the quantity. So I'm going to rewrite price as a function of the quantity. I didn't change anything here. And notice that I can also pull out the price. And inside of the bracket, I'm left with 1 plus the reciprocal of our elasticity of demand. So that is my marginal revenue. Notice that your elasticity of demand is something negative. Therefore, I can rewrite that as price times 1 minus the reciprocal of the price elasticity of demand. Now, there's an implication. If I have a price function, price as a function of the quantity, what is my marginal revenue function? I will be able to find it. So how do I do that? We know that from here, your marginal revenue is equal to price plus changing price divided by changing quantity times the quantity. So what is this term? Now in the textbook, Vera very quickly told you that, hey, delta P divided by delta Q is exactly equal to negative P. And then you scratch your head. How did you get this, right? So here is our price function. So we can see that when your quantity is equal to zero, according to this function, your price is A. Now, when the quantity is equal to one, your price is equal to A minus B, right here. So A minus B times one, that's A minus B. So you know when the quantity goes up by one, your price goes down by B. So you can see delta P divided by delta Q is exactly negative B. That's how we got this. So marginal revenue, again, is here. is price plus delta P divided by delta Q times Q. And we can plug this P in here. That's just A minus BQ. And we're going to plus this term. So what is this term? We know delta P divided by delta Q, we already found that as negative B times the Q. I didn't change anything here. And then you expand that, you will get A minus 2BQ. Graphically, you could see that is our demand curve. And you can draw your marginal revenue curve like that. So I hope this helps, and I'll see you next time.